Okay, here we have a, a super paved shear tester. This machine was developed by the Strategic Highway Research Program to characterize the hot mix asphalt mixture. The shear tester is a closed loop servo hydraulic system that can load samples in two axis along with providing a confining pressure. The system consists of four main parts. The main frame, which is here, the computer, the hydraulic supply, and then a temperature control unit that would get mounted next to the chamber and air would be ducted from this chamber area into the other temperature unit. And the temperature unit is basically a environmental chamber with ducts running between them. And as you can see here, we just removed the front part of this chamber just for the video so you can see this vessel better. And so here you can see the, the front part of the chamber. So the main, the main frame consists of the vertical column or chamber and then the two actuators. The shear actuator is horizontal that you can see here, which, which pushes and pulls on a, a lower platen that's in the base of, of the machine. And then the top actuator, which provides the, the axial load on the samples. So if you look at it from the front, you can see that the, the main chamber here uh, has two columns is split up into two columns down here, which helps transmit the force down to the, the lower platens. But it also serves as the vessel for the confining pressure. So this sleeve can be lowered. Oh, we have to turn the hydraulics on. gets lowered, which allows you to pressurize this area inside of here, which is required for some of the tests. We'll just leave it up for now, it's easier to see the, the upper platen here. All right, so we'll just go over here to the computer, uh, and we already showed you how the, the sleeve operates. Uh, and this software here allows you to do all the different types of, of tests, of the closed loop tests. Uh, an example of those are the, the uniaxial, the volumetric, the frequency sweep at constant height, the simple shear at constant height, the repeated shear at constant height, and the repeated shear at constant stress. So we're looking at one screen now, which is, this is one of the tests. So we'll go back to the main screen. And this is where you can select the different types of tests, whether it's simple shear or repeated shear, constant stress, and this is where you'd select the different types. So we'll just pick one of these, and we'll just operate the actuators just to show them moving up and down. So we need to go in here and we can pick the type of wave that the actuators will produce. So we'll pick a sine wave. 
and then you select the mover for that wave that you're selecting, either the axial, shear, or temperature. So we're just going to pick the axial actuator. Uh, so here we're going negative 8 to 8 uh, kilonewtons. And the frequency is 0.25, and it's 900 cycles. We'll just increase that a little bit. All right, so that should be ready to start. But first, we need to turn on the hydraulics. And then also, once they're running, we need to turn on the local energy. So I'll turn on the hydraulics. <laughs> So now we should be ready to start the test. You're going to run and then you have to choose axial again and then start from zero.
So down here, this is the actual the computer, the PC that's running everything, and all of the connections of the machine are going in the back of this. Uh, here is the temperature control unit. This is just monitoring the temperature inside of this chamber. And then these, these sample platens, once they get uh, I like, like this actually, once they get glued together, there is a, an angled flange here that meets up to this angled flange, and then there are clamps that hold these two flanges together. And, and that's how the sample mounts very securely in the platens. 